lighting sucks in here. So hello YouTube, it is my second video. I'm going to be starting something on this channel um, called the YouTube Pagan Challenge. I found on Piper's Facebook page. Piper is an awesome YouTuber and I'll link you to her stuff because she's fantastic. It's basically um, a challenge um, to make a video once a week for the next year. Um, it's a series of 52 questions, one for each week, um, related to paganism and the path you're on. And there's just various questions that you answer in your own individual way. I thought it would be a great way to get this whole Book of Shadows thing started. Um, and it's already organized for me, which is my favorite part because I'm terrible at that, as you all know. So, the question today... Question number one is, how did you find your path? <laughs> this is a pretty huge question for most people, probably. Um, I've actually been a pagan or identified as a pagan for about four years now, I believe. I had no idea any of that was like really real, other than what I was taught growing up. Um, I grew up in the South, in uh, the Bible Belt uh, of Middle Tennessee. And we did grow up Christian, so all we were taught was that witchcraft was evil and bad, because the Bible says that. So all I had to go on was evil and bad, or not real, because fantasy uh, movies are obviously not real. I had this idea in my head of what it was, of what witches are and stuff, because unfortunately it is an area, there's not a lot of light or education on the subject still because of history and um, the past and how ridiculed people tend to be. Hopefully channels like this will help to get rid of all the negative stereotypes. So yeah, how I got started on my path was actually watching a YouTube video. Okay, it was four years ago, so it was back on YouTube when all of those videos were popular about, you know, like the shit boys say and shit girls say and shit people say about, you know, you remember those videos? So there was one that Kara Mia made. Um, her YouTube name is CuteWitch772, I believe. Yeah, I'll link you to her stuff. She made a video called, I think it was like, Shit People Say About Pagans. And it was hilarious, but I was like, this is new. This is like, what, 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 what is this? And in the video suggestions underneath that video was a video by um, a user named Blazely Dragon, and it said the difference between witchcraft and Wicca. And I, of course, was always one of those people who thought they were the same thing, so I clicked on his video, which I will also link, and it was amazing. It was so informational and just so science-minded, because that's the thing. Up until then, I said I grew up in Christianity, but when I was about 15, 14 or 15, I started to much more identify as agnostic, and then 16, I pretty much was an atheist. So watching Blazely Dragon's video about Wicca versus witchcraft, I learned that you don't have to be Wiccan to believe in the science of your personal energy and how it interacts with the energy of the universe and things in the universe. Not all Wiccans are witches and not all witches are Wiccans. And it was just completely eye-opening. And I was like, I totally get this because I'm a very science-minded person. If things can be explained logically to me, it makes sense to me. For example, reincarnation was something that as a pagan, a lot of people believe in. And when I first found this whole paganism thing, I wasn't quite sure if I believed in it. But then I was like, wait a second. If you think of it scientifically, one of the laws of science is that energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It just changes forms. If you look at a soul as energy, reincarnation totally makes sense because energy or souls can neither be created nor destroyed. They just change forms. So, so a lot of things in the pagan spirituality and path of enlightenment and stuff really started to resonate with me like nothing ever had before. I grew up going to church. I went to every Bible study. I was in junior Bible quiz for years. We were heavily involved with everything churchy and none of, none of it 
ever. And I, I tried praying and many, many times. And it's just like talking to a wall. To me, that's how, I mean, I, I know people are genuinely um, Christian and they have a connection with Jesus and their, and their God and angels and stuff like that. And that's great. But for me, it did not resonate with my being at all. So that was really refreshing to find. So once I saw that video, I just started watching all that I could and reading all that I could. As many articles as I could find. Like I said before in my last video, YouTube is a fantastic resource, especially if you're too impatient like me and don't want to just read like a whole book. Like I do love reading books, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I don't have time to just sit there and flip through a book and try to find the thing that I want to know and the thing that I need. Whereas if I can type in a search bar in Google or in YouTube and have five videos of five different opinions on, on five ways people do this particular thing, and I can create my own, you know, based off of what I've learned there. So it's, it's really great. And that's one other thing about the path of paganism that really called to me is that it's very custom. Growing up in church and Christianity, and there are so many different denominations of Christianity. It's like each one is like you have to follow these rules and you do these things or you're not a Baptist or you're not a Catholic or you're not a whatever. So I really identify with being in control of your own fate and your own self. And that's a lot of what witchcraft really is, is using your own power to affect the outcome of your life and circumstances and stuff and that's the thing i don't really care for in so many other religions is that it's always up to someone else or some other higher power or you know you just try your best to follow the rules and then it's up to something else but i'm just like no the fact that i found this was just so empowering to be in charge of your own life um was something i really identified with i feel really like a connection that there's more to life than just what you get at face value all the time. There has to be because if not, like, life's pretty shitty sometimes. I just really like the fact that you're in charge of your life with this way of believing and thinking and living. It's completely customizable for anyone. It's completely individual to the person. It's not a cookie cutter thing and it's great. I love it. <laughs> paganism itself is just such an umbrella term. It was explained to me paganism is the term that covers pretty much every religion that's not Abrahamic. And Abrahamic religions being Christianity, Judaism, and Islam. They're based off of the god of Abraham. Uh, or those types of religions that were based in the Middle East. I could be very wrong, correct me if I am wrong. But, um, and so paganism kind of <laughs> encompasses everything else. I always thought that the word pagan just meant that you believed in more than one god. Growing up Christian, they don't teach you much about any religion other than your own. So, I always thought the word pagan just meant they believed in more than one god. So I didn't want to call myself that at first. I had a really big identity crisis with it, because I really liked this whole path of you know, nature and spirituality and connecting to the universe and all that. But I didn't want to call myself pagan because I thought you had to believe in a god. Or at least, or many gods. And I don't, I still don't believe in any god. I don't have, um, patron and matron deities. And this is a video in and of itself. I know it's a question coming up in this whole YouTube challenge. So I'm rabbit trailing a little bit. I'll try to wrap it up. So I was really concerned about calling myself that. And then I talked with, um, it was Kara, Kara Mia from the, the shit people say to pagans video um we started chatting she was like you can call yourself whatever you're comfortable calling yourself that's the coolest thing about this whole path is that it's completely custom for you if something doesn't work with you change it the, it's only going to work for you if you feel comfortable that's the bottom line that's, that's something that really really resonated with me and I'm a huge supporter of people being themselves and equality for everyone of all kinds. And so when I was able to find, like, I don't like to say it's a religion, but, you know, 
religion is such a big part of people's lives that some a lot oftentimes it's a conversation starter people are just like oh hi it's nice to meet you what church do you go to it's like it's one of the first questions especially where i'm from in the south and growing up in the south it's like one of the first questions people ask you to get to know you what church do you go to and my response to that is well do you have a couple hours my purpose of these videos is to educate the general public hopefully and my family because i know they have a lot of questions and this is much easier than having a individual phone conversations with all of them that are hours long explaining the same thing over and over again so that is how i found the path there are more questions to come that are going to be more specific on what my path is but like i said internet wonderful resource i don't know where i'd be without it <laughs> probably very sad and and lonely yay internet thank you youtube for helping me become who i am today uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and blessed be if you'd like to be